Okay, welcome back everyone. Let's continue. Oh, I just remembered I actually haven't watched any of the recent trailers. I totally meant to. <laughs> This game has any like a uh, Jason y element, you know, like Jason, or that kind of thing. Whether we'll shout somebody's name like that. I'm sure there's stuff I can look at over here, but it feels kind of creepy to just wander into the park. Yeah. <laughs> How do I check my objectives again? Ah, okay. Where is the light? I can't tell. I think it's that hand symbol. What would happen if I just walked out? Quantic Dream Games kind of famously like um, don't have game overs. David Cage says that game overs are a failure of the game designer. And so, if I walked out in front of that car, maybe i die and that would just be the end of this character's story. This is Marcus, I think, from the promos. I haven't watched them, but I've seen like the names of them in my subscription box. Uh, yeah, here we go. I wish I could move and do that. So far, I think the graphics are really good. Um, it looks really nice, and I know I'm talking about Heavy Rain a lot, but in Heavy Rain there are a lot of the same NPCs, like walking next to each other, you can tell they're the same person. And um, for some reason I read it as Panini Shop. <laughs> um, all the NPCs look different, so thumbs up. Oh, I have to hold it for immersion. One second. <laughs> it looks so weird to just walk over there and do that. Oh, he's an android though, so it doesn't matter. Mm, maybe I should check my android racism. Here is your order number 847. That will be 6399. Please confirm payment. How many people in this world do you think have tried to initiate romantic relationships with these androids and then realize they're androids? I mean, there's some people that are going to be into that, but how many people do you think try to date someone and then realize they're an android? Not that there's anything wrong with that. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. I'm not sure if the game did that or if I managed to do that really fast. Alright, I think we're going this way. It told me to switch the camera so I assume we're walking this way. I'm not doing that with the camera. Are those police sirens? What happened? Ooh, can I like to him? No. I think if you're going to stand and watch you, you should tip them. But we'll just be a dick and walk away. I'm supposed to cross right. I think so. Is this the bus stop? Oh, that would make sense. No? Well, where then? Down there? 
I hope I have to like run to catch up with the bus. That would be funny. Yeah, here we go. Can I like walk faster at all? Lady, move please. So, how many of you want to bet that like them uh, campaigning to be able to work is gonna have some like uh, they're gonna what's the word uh it's not an analogy i said it earlier but basically they're gonna compare it to like feminist movement you know when feminists try to get the right to work oh no wow that is real low quality <laughs> Oh, I see. Okay, they can't sit in this section. That is um, a pretty heavy-handed allegory, in my opinion. That's why I said, oh no, like that. Because they're really going to compare it to, like, Rosa Parks. At least I assume that's what they're comparing it to. The whole... Well, I, I don't want to talk about it because it's not in my place, but, you know... You know what allegory they're trying to make. I was about to say what if he just said screw it and just sat in that section, but I imagine that's probably going to be a plot point at some point. You can't call it Shades of Colour. Quantic Dream. Maybe I'm interpreting it wrong, but I don't think so. Walking in the park, listen to Busker. Oh, so there were there were other things we could do, I thought so. Visit the store, collect the package, Marcus took the bus. So what are the other options then? Could we have tipped him? Because I would have if I'd seen the option to do that. Maybe I had to get closer. Pretty sure that's the house or at least very similar to the house that Madison goes to in the Heavy Rain DLC. They've probably repurposed it just for this game, like took the assets. Uh, I'm pressing it. Uh oh, is this like, am I not going to be able to continue? I'm, oh, I was using the wrong side was I? It worked when I used the left stick, but you coming? There we go. Maybe it was me subconsciously not wanting to do this. <sighs> Wait, let me just like look outside for what will probably be the last time. Actually no, because I kind of know their plot point. I know what happens to them, I think. Oh. Too late. been gone for two weeks, so no. the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of... God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Oh. Alice! I feel bad for her. Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? I will protect yes, this child. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. I like her cardigan. So they probably said, and I was talking over it, but seemingly she's escaped this household and he's come and like taken her back. And I'm probably gonna be talking about allegories a lot this Let's Play, TV because on. there's a lot of like a, uh... hang on. <laughs> Bless me, They're, they have a lot of allegories for racism and uh, abusive relationships and stuff like that. So. I imagine this is like alluding to an abusive relationship. She's already escaped, but he's brought her back. That seems to be the situation. Okay, time to do menial tasks. Um. Oh, 
I hope it doesn't make me do all of this. Yeah. Maybe. Depends on what you need. I didn't clean the counter. Oh, no, I did. <laughs> I thought it would mean like actually cleaning the counter, yeah, no yeah. scrubbing it. I can get that. I'm stupid, you may have noticed. Yeah. I'll bring it tomorrow. He's going to tell us to move or something. Maybe something will happen out here. It does feel like you're turning a doorknob. It's just a little convoluted oh, having to do that. Can I talk to her? But, no, I guess not. Why am I willingly doing more chores? be cool but if it was gonna take my money I wouldn't like that I guess it's kind of like Alexa if it would just do that automatically without asking if you wanted to buy it I wouldn't be a fan of that I like her, I want to keep her safe. <laughs> Just seeing the situation automatically makes me like sympathise with her and have an emotional attachment to her. I did see a trailer that was released a while ago and it was about these people. I don't know if you can hear the controller when I do that. Kind of sounds like inappropriate. Cara! Yes, Ty? Bring me a cold beer! Right of manners. I feel like he's a little over the top. I don't know. Do people in real life really just go get me a beer like that? Like it's, I don't know, it's a little over the top I feel. We get that he's a shitty guy, you know? You don't have to... I don't know, I just don't think anyone would act like that in real life. I've made a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering See? Like... I don't know. Can I talk to the girl? Whoops. <laughs> you can reread discovered articles. Okay. That's 
It's a pretty toy. What's its name? Clean upstairs, all right. So I like this so far. I said I'd probably be negative and like taking the piss out of it, but I'm invested. I think you kind of do automatically get a little more invested in games you play rather than watching Let's Plays. Not that you can't get invested in a Let's Play, but I think just because you're in direct control, you're automatically more invested in it than when you just watch, you know? And now to sports. First up, that looks like... Yeah, um, the After TV in The Sims 4, the where it plays Sims 3 footage. Fiber Life Arena in Detroit. League negotiations are still ongoing over the possibility of allowing one I can't get that button to work. I am pressing the arrow keys. I'm pressing the sticks and everything. And, oh, they were like, you're an idiot. <laughs> Another 225,000 jobs were lost from the U.S. economy in October. Sorry, one second, I'm just touching my computer to make sure it doesn't go off. Maybe making you do all this makes you sympathise more with Kara because you've kind of first-hand done the things she has to do every day. If they just said, like, she has to do loads of chores, you'd be like, oh, that's unfortunate. But because you're having to do it, you kind of feel how shitty this situation is for her. I mean, you know, you have to do chores in real life, but doing this completely on your own without any help from anybody else is shitty. I can't think of any other word other than shitty. <laughs> Anything else around here? I'll go check on her in a sec. I kind of would like a roof like that where you can just jump out easily you know in films when people like leave their house and they can just sort of climb down from the roof I kind of like a roof like that not that I have anywhere I need to sneak out to I just if I wanted to I'd be glad to have that option <laughs> all right there's still stuff to do in here but I'm gonna go talk to her just in case Watch it. What a twat. Just in case... Why would I optionally clean the bathroom? <laughs> now I feel like I should because it would kind of be in character for her to do it and unrealistic for her to leave it, but I'm going to check on the girl just in case we can't, you know, if we do something that progresses the story. I just want to tidy up your room a little. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? This poor girl. Damn it, I'm attached. A little area looks nice, though. I, I like a, a little fort like that. What does that mean? Oh, okay. Dialogue option. 
For a second I thought it was kind of saying that it was like unlocked and she could jump out if she wanted or something. I know they've showed us that before, I'm just stupid. Seems you like reading. Speaking of reading, I've been getting back into it lately. Um, a book I ordered arrived today, Leah on the Offbeat. And I really loved Love, Simon, or Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda, which was the author's other book. This is like in the same universe and completely unrelated, but I'm excited to read it. Alice in Wonderland. Of course. Um, I was super, super into reading until I was about 15, and then I just kind of stopped. But I've been wanting to more lately in like the last year, so I've been trying to buy books more. I really like the way they step over that, it's just like a, a nice little detail. I thought I saw something more over here though. Uh, that is a big box. Can I talk to her yet? No. Anything else to do in here? She'll probably try to talk to us as we leave. Whoops. Alright. Or not. I guess I'm cleaning the bathroom. I'm probably the only one who's actually going to do all this. I just, you know, I've, I just said it, but she's a cleaning robot, or at least she's like, it's her job to clean, and so it doesn't make sense plot-wise, narrative-wise, for her to leave some work undone. I'm that committed to realism. I think we're done in here now. We have two bathrooms. I guess one's a toilet room. Oh no. Poor girl, I'm so sorry I made you do that. Good thing I went and checked in her room first, right? Because that seems like a plot item. Or not. Sweet. Just check over in the corners. Uh, do not actually take them. I just wanted to look at them. Antidepressants. I hope they don't try to excuse this behaviour. That's like a... a cause, not a... I don't know, there's a saying, but... Oh, we've looked at this. She was on the right, right? Come on, step forward. There. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. 
Your father said you chose my name. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help me. Okay. I can see you want some space. I'll leave you alone. She'll talk to us as we go to leave. Or not, bye kid. Oh. She's drawn her hair black, but I saw it more brown, to be honest. Okay, damn it, I'm invested. Um, I think I might end this part here. I know this is kind of in the middle of a scene, but we're coming up on, like, half an hour, I think. And I just, I like to keep stopping just to make sure that everything's still working. But um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next part. Bye everyone.